Hey guys, it's Gloria the Gamer and welcome back to my channel. So honestly, <laughs> I'm irritated with myself because like I recorded a whole part of this um, and my like headphones weren't even plugged in. So we got to explain all over again. But you guys are looking at my beautiful Sims, Journey Johnson and her son, Jonah Johnson. So as we play the game and go on, I'm going to explain to you guys who these sims are, and all of that. Um, so, when I was recording, he was a baby. Um, and obviously, he is not a baby anymore. He is a huge toddler. Um, I'm going to put him in his crib because it is 852. Like, he needs to sleep. And I'm just going to um, get her needs ready. Obviously, you guys can see she, there's only two sims minus Carmella. Um, there's only two sims. There's no dad. And I'm going to explain that whole situation. So before we moved into this complex, I'm going to show you guys the whole complex. It's two, like, um, apartments side by side. Um, this is our complex. We actually lived in a townhouse, you guys, like a nice townhouse, but it was a one bedroom. Um, so like the fact that we left didn't really matter because we needed more space once she was like having symptoms of pregnancy. Like she was vomiting. She, she just had to get up out of there. Um, so that's what was happening. And, um, so let me just explain. So when I first started out with her, she was living in a townhouse alone. Um, she has the fortune aspiration. So she wants to be pretty wealthy and she has kept a quite a lot of money. She has not ever been broke. Knock on wood. Hopefully she's not broke. Cause I, I be having money problems in the Sims too sometimes, but, um, she was getting lonely. So we got Carmella, which is our very, very needy cat. Um, and then I was like, you know what? She needs to experience things. She needs to get out all this stuff. So that's exactly what she did. Um, and so she met so many Sims before she moved into this complex. She met some Sims in here too. This is our neighbor, Craig. Um, but she met Christy. She met Ramir Patel, which is her first love interest, but he had a wife. Um, and then she met Jahan Sue, which he did not like us at all. Um, Chico Ramirez, which is our baby daddy. Neil Chalmers, um, Matthew Mellon, Rosemary, and this is our landlord, Lexi, and then Jordan Tang. This is our enemy, Lisa Mar Ramirez. So when we met Chico, we were, like, really vibing because, um, like, you see these little lightning bolts? I think that means, like, you vibe with these Sims. Like, you guys will be good together. So we need to, like, go over here and um, complain about the noise. But, um, yeah, we were really vibing with him, and then, like, he moved in with us, and when we, when he moved in, we found out that he had a wife, um, which is our enemy. What's her name? Rosemary? No, uh, Lisa. So, once he moved in, she came over, and they started, like, kissing or whatever, and, like, she came out and saw them, and, like, she beat Lisa up, and she kicked him out, kind of, like, I mean, we, we did leave first. Um, can we fight him? We did leave the house, and he still is in that house, which is kind of, like, redundant, but whatever. We needed more space anyway. So once we moved into this place, um, we did find out that we were pregnant, and um, obviously we have the baby. His name is Jonah, and she is a paramedic in um, the medical field. She works really freaking hard at her job, and I'm actually going to have her study logic a little bit more, but she is not done on the path of finding love. Um, but yeah, I'm like so into like explaining her background story that I actually forgot to credit the creator of this kind of current household twist, which is Ocean Sims. I did get this idea from her, but she did it with The Sims 4, and obviously my current household is in The Sims 2. So, yeah, honestly, all we do is stay home, take care of Jonah, and that's really it. Um, I think he might be hungry, but we're, we're going to sleep. It's 1 a.m. So, I think that her next love interest is actually going to be Neil, like, we're going to try with Neil. I don't know if it's going to work out because um, we never really have the time. Like, we're always with Jonah, so it's kind of hard. And I pre-recorded this. I recorded a different part, um, this video that I'm going to upload, like, next week. I have my whole month of April planned out. But my Sims 2 game was actually broken. I spent all this morning, like, fixing my Sims 2 game, and now I can finally play. So when I tell y'all, like, I'm invested in this family, I am invested in this family. Like, you don't even know. So I'm actually going to have her wake up and tuck in Jonah. And then 
We did clean the house just a little bit, but I'm going to have her clean up just some more. Let me make sure she don't got bills to pay because they were harassing us before. So um, let me open up our little box in front of our door. And every time we get up, Miss Carmela want to get up. I think that in that box is a computer or something. Let me stroke her and feed her. Okay, so she can't, she can't get the cake. Um, and then I do want her to uh, study. Oh, so I guess we can't. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so um, hmm. she's going to study some cooking because her cooking skill is just like horrible. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying this family so much. Like y'all just don't understand. Like this family is just it for me. So I'm going to have her actually um, hold Jonah. And it's just harder because I did want her to enjoy her single life. Like, I really thought that she was going to end up with, um, oh, shoot, did we set a fire? I'm not sure. I don't think we did. Did we? We definitely didn't. I don't know who started the fire, but he has not been over to see Jonah. Uh, we actually gave birth in the middle of the complex. I'll answer some pictures if I can. But yeah, we gave birth in the middle of the complex. <laughs> And he did not come and see him, like, at all. He did not. So, I mean, I don't know. He really does not care. But I am going to try to talk to him for Jonah's sake and see if he comes around. We'll call him um, in the morning and see what happens. But, I mean, if he doesn't come around, he doesn't come around. Like, it really doesn't matter. So let's serve him up some food. Um... And uh, let's see. We got to get our fun up. Let's watch TV. Look at Jonah. He is so cute despite him stinking. Like, he literally looks just like his mom. Just like her. It's crazy. But, um, yeah. So, I mean, we're trying. We are a single mom. I'm a single mom in real life. So, like, I can relate to Justice's situation. But, like, it doesn't end anything. Like, I mean, she's fine. So let me actually put him in the tub and then um, I'm going to teach him how to walk and stuff like that because she doesn't have work until like later. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to place all these toys down so that he'll have stuff to play with because the nanny does come and take care of him because obviously we have to work. So we don't really have much time to even try to get him in, like honestly, but she works at 8 p.m. today. I'm excited. I'm excited to go to work. Um, She does have to clean the house a little bit. I don't know if that was him stinking. Yeah, I think that was just him stinking. So she doesn't have to clean the house. And then we're going to put him in his room, not to sleep or anything, but just to play. Um, And then we're going to use the bathroom once we're done cleaning him. So we're just going to go throughout his day and um stuff like that. So let me have him crawl here, and he could just play with his toys. No, she needs to use the bathroom. And um, she is also going to eat. But first, we're going to call a sim. Maybe we can actually invite Neil over so we can build up our relationship a little bit. You guys can, like, see, and then maybe they'll end up together and, like, have kids. I only want her to have two more kids, though. So let's try to call Chico and just talk, and let's see. How that works out for us because you know we do have a son together so i mean we do have to be cool look she's like she feels betrayed by him um so yeah we're gonna invite over neil we have no intentions of getting back with chico like at all we have no intentions he already did us dirty um not no fool me once fool me twice type stuff we're done like no um my second advisor has... okay so um let's just talk to him then Because I do want them to build up their their friendship. Let's try to invite him over now. Because, like, come on. We don't have that much time. We have to go to work later. Uh, invite over. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? So, he's not going to come over. Um, okay. So, I want to try um, the matchmaker for her. So, we can see, like, who she vibes with. Um, because, listen... We, we need to find love. Um, yes. I will be over shortly. Okay, so let's open this. 
it's on our porch. Um, and yeah, it's literally 11.15. Like, I've been playing them forever. Like, you don't even know. Like, I've been playing them for, like, a good, like, five hours or something. Okay, that's dragging it. I've been playing them for a while, though. Um, so here is the matchmaker. Matchmaker. I don't know why I said it like that. Sharon. All right, girl. Why is she admiring us? Leave us alone. Um. Oh, we don't want to. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Um, ask for a blind date. I want my date to be male. Ooh, only your cash can help my crystal ball pierce the mist of fate, but veil the inner nature of your perfect match. If you let your stinginess cloud my vision, you'll only have yourself to blame. Now then, how much will you spend? Um, we'll spend two seventy two. We ain't spending that much money. That's it. <laughs> well, I guess you're gonna get exactly what you pay for it. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, well, we're not spending that much money. Oh, is this him? Um, okay. Well, I guess we're going to be on a date for two hours then. Um, let's talk, chat. Um, I want to ask him about his skills. I'm going to turn him on, I'm going to turn him off. Let's ask him about his interests. And let's ask him if he likes what he sees, honey. Because that's important. Um, and our date is not going to be all that. Um, what does it say? I'm not really good at anything yet. Um, checks him out, admire, entertain, tell him a joke, talk, um, talk about our hobby of cuisine. We're only at the okay level of the date. Um, let's try to flirt with him. We're going to try to charm him a little bit. I don't know if it's going to work out, but I feel like I want to get her with Neil though. I mean, if it works out, then it's fine, but. Let's do a wolf whistle. Um, so I guess it's working out for us. And I don't know what his problem is. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. We really ignored him. Oh, my gosh. I feel so bad. Um, let me put him in his crib. Hmm, that was kind of boring. I had hoped you would be a little bit more fun. Um, no, girl, put him in his crib. Like, come on, your your kid is a priority. Um, go here, crawl here, crawl here. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> put Jonah in his crib, girl. <laughs> like, that took forever. Um, all right. So, that's basically it for my current household. Um, when I do an update, we'll play them for like maybe two sim days, but the sim days and sim two goes by so quick. Um, but basically she's trying to find love. She's trying to find marriage, a husband, and just enjoy her time while she's still young. She doesn't want Jonah to be her only child, which she would be fine if he is her only child as well. But like, she wants to be married. She wants to be happy. She wants to settle down. Um, but she also wants to be rich. So She's kind of conflicted. We even tried to get Carmela a job, but Carmela would not attend work, honey. Carmela is too sassy for us, and that's all cat, if you don't know. So make sure to definitely like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. Bye.